Hi and welcome to Digital General's second battle in this Confederate campaign for uh, Ultimate General Gettysburg. And after basically fighting uh, the morning battle, uh, the early approach to Gettysburg, we had a not a fantastic but a solid good beginning with a minor victory. And as you can see we captured uh, Oak Ridge and uh, have basically forced the uh, Union forces to go below and, and withdraw south of Gettysburg. And so this is actually kind of close to the situation that happened at the end of the day, the day but for us, we're starting this midday. So it gives us plenty of time to uh, attack before the rest of the federal uh, army arrives and maybe push them back and get a, an even better historical result. So looking at uh, what we're facing here, we obviously are starting with a two to one numerical disadvantage and what's worse, my uh, force that's there, uh, which is the uh, the Third Corps, uh, Heaths and Penders divisions, are both really chewed up because they took a lot of losses in uh, the early part of the day. So uh, I'm basically starting with depleted forces and half of the numbers that my opponent has and the reinforcements uh, will be coming in with my main punching force. So. It's pretty clear that what I need to do is uh, basically skirmish and protect uh, or, or screen this advance, make sure that the, the Union side doesn't push to our north, wait for my reinforcements to show up, and then punch and then hopefully take some of these objectives at uh, either Cemetery Ridge or, uh, or some of these other major points. Let's get going. So. Okay, let's take a quick look on the battlefield. And right, so you got uh, Gettysburg, you've got uh, the three, oh, let's get the mountains back up. I don't know why that doesn't default. That would have been a nice feature to add. Just, I, I just want to see the terrain. Thank you very much. Okay, so we've ha we have a minor victory point here. That's um, kind of continuation here of, um, of Oak Ridge. And that's fairly difficult to defend. So I, I should be able to capture this um, because I can set up a nice firing position on the hill and and kind of rain fire down this way. Um, and I'm presumably this is where the Union uh, First Corps is, so they're, they're the depleted forces as well. And then we've got 11th, probably moving up through here. And these two uh, massive defensive points, so Cemetery Hill and Culp's Hill, which did see a lot of fighting, but later later on in the battle, not, not on this day. Um, I know I'll have reinforcements coming in this way and this way. So the initial plan, let's just uh, keep it simple. I will set up um, hopefully a basically a line here to keep the Union forces penned in. Uh, observe Gettysburg and shell it as needed with my artillery and wait for my forces to come down and then basically try to strike uh, probably through here. That's probably going to be easier than, than attack attacking uphill and maybe see if I can do a push on Cemetery Hill first. But I guess we'll see how that goes. Okay, initial orders. So let's take a quick look. We have, okay, we've got a lot of units that are essentially, as you can see, uh, near break. So Brockenbro is half strength, more than actually less than half strength. He's at uh, basically a third strength and totally depleted. So that's not a useful formation. Uh, lane is good morale, basically three quarters strength. So lane can do something. Um, scales is again, also half strength and weak morale and Pettigrew is, well, it's he's the biggest brigade I have, even though he's been chewed up quite severely, he still has a lot of men left. So yeah, let's put him up on this hill. It's critical. Uh, my commander has to move up and support. So let's get Hill up here. And Davis is half strength as well. Um, and yeah, let's let's put him up here and see if I can create a bit of a flank. Okay, Archer. Yeah, Archer is half strength. So yeah, let's just get these guys moved up and basically just support. I, I, I don't think they'll be doing anything useful. All right, artillery is going to be critical. So 
Okay, let's get this piece of artillery onto the ridge. Um, and maybe these guys as well. Oh, no, wait. Yeah, no, let's push them up here. Okay, so I do have some decent artillery here, so let's get them. Clickety click. Yeah, that's the ones. Yeah, let's get let's get my get my artillery on the ridge and set up some uh, a solid fire base here. And Johnson, yeah, why not? All right, now the skirmishers. So the skirmishers, I want them to do what they kind of did in the first battle. They're they're not going to do any actual fighting. There's 84 guys left. They're they've lost almost all of their unit. They have no morale. So the best they can do is just provide some scouting. So let's just get them down here and see what's going on. And we're off. Oh, the candidate begins. How is this? It's a Perrin. It's actually a decent brigade as well. So yeah, let's get Perrin up on the hills too. So I'm committing everything into this line because I, I just need to form up some sort of a line and basically see what happens. And yeah, there's a ton of artillery coming from here. And we know that the army is basically bunching up here. So, so yeah, I, I want to have nothing to do with all of this enemy forces for now. Just let them sit there. I'm actually hoping that they will attack me up this ridge. I, I don't know if the AI will go uh, because it is a defensive AI. How much skills is under fire? Uh, same with Lane. I think they can withstand this. It's a fairly long range fire, so I think they'll, they'll be okay. Yeah, so I don't know if uh, the AI will decide to attack, but it's possible. And actually, that would be perfect, because I want them to basically break their teeth running up this slope. Okay, good. We're getting some visibility now, and yeah, there's Cutler. Bucktail, Paul, Reynolds. Ah, oh, okay. All of my friends. Oh, skirmishers are fleeing already. Did they take fire? Wow, okay, that was fast. I guess they lost four guys and that was enough to <laughs> route them. Which is fair enough, because they really lost 304. So, uh, can't blame them for withdrawing. But hopefully they'll stop before they run off the board. see anything so let's get it up and see here just get this artillery on the hill Bracken Bros actually yeah he's still you know what let's get him closer to the commander he's not going to be doing anything useful so no, it's not going far enough there but there yeah roads senses advanced brigades fantastic so this is the beginning of what can become my hammer um, Okay, so, yeah, let's set up the artillery here, and maybe push it up to attack later, and these massive brigades, well, let's just get them into Gettysburg, and that'll give them some cover, and maybe we can push through and kind of shock the enemy and um, kind of take this position early, and then put pressure here and basically form up this nice line. Skirmishes? Yeah, no, they're gone. What I'm hoping, that, hoping is that once they push into the city, um, I'll be able, I'll force uh, the Union forces to basically withdraw or, or do this double front, and I can have 
a bit of an encircling. A little bit worried about what forces are here and whether they'll be able to really hit me hard, but um, let's just see how that goes. Okay, what do we have here? Baxter, Cutler's Brigades, they're, they're all seen fighting. Alright, more troops from Rhodes, excellent. thing that I need to do here is just not to be too hasty with my attack because I do want to make sure that I don't just again meet Grinder through my troops and then have nothing left for later on in the battle. super cover in the city, which is excellent, so I can basically uh, just slowly push up and drive the forces back, and that's fine. And then I'll have a second wave of attackers that I can, I can throw into through Gettysburg as well. Yeah, you just sit there, buddy. That's cool. Recover. Yeah, these brigades, I just want to keep them back in the reserve, and basically, uh, when they when the time comes, I can push them up and just put some pressure on the flanks, but they're, they're not gonna, going to be do, doing any the fighting. Right. Okay, let's put artillery in there. Into the city. Good, I'm seeing some forces push back, pull back, that's excellent. Uh, I want to wait for these guys to get a little bit closer, uh, about to here, and then I'll do my actual advance. And this is already working, so I can see that the AI is trying, trying to form this line, so he's pulling away from the victory point, and I could take it now, but it would just put me in this killing field, so that's too early in the battle to do that, but, uh, but this pressure is starting to make them pull back. See if we can actually take up this artillery with musket fire. Because artillery can be shot up really quickly if they're too close, and then they break, and then there you go. And this Stevens battery is very powerful, so I want to see if I can get rid of it. I can shift this artillery a little bit closer as well. So my artillery is right now on the move, which is not the best time to attack, so let's uh, make sure that let's see, these guys set up. And then we can... Yeah, let's get as, as much of the leader support as I can to this side. Rack and roll, come on. I'm sure you'll need to move up as well a little bit. Chase the leader. Okay, good. Artillery is be below 100, that's excellent. So that's starting to, to have this effect. Now, okay, yeah, Doles was actually pushed back. It's fine, let's just get him to stop fleeing. And this way I can cycle my these new fresh brigades in. That, that's actually, that's fine. So 
this this is actually a very strong brigade but i think it's a low rated brigade so uh, once the additional reinforcements come in i can put that pressure on so here it's just all about laying the groundwork on, on, on these uh, enemy forces Also pulled back a little bit. That's also fine. They're in cover, but they're not losing that much in terms of casualties. So that's I'm okay with that. Stevens, okay, the battery is down to half strength, so I'm hoping that it'll break soon. Come on, just move up and keep shooting. Shoot up this battery and get dolls. You can still, okay, why don't we push through with these fresh brigades now and dolls can basically pull back a little bit and recover. Alright, Stevens, yeah, they're starting to break a waiver, which is excellent. Good, Stevens is broken. That's excellent. That will will definitely help having this artillery pull back. Right, O'Neill, can you take out Eggman? It would be really helpful to help with the second core leader, because uh, I can't do anything with Hill. I think. Uh, let me just quickly test it, make sure that that's, that's how it is, but I'm pretty sure Hill's uh, not going to help. So that's a little unfortunate that I have these uh, brigades that are coming in a little bit low morale and I can't actually do anything to, re to restore them. Yeah, no, he's, he's doing nothing. So that's fine, he'll get back to your own troops. Right, O'Neill broke. start advancing before I can push up and reverse it. Alright, some more batteries, great. What I need is a commander for my second core, that's that's what I need. Artillery up, hopefully, they won't get routed right away because I've got the infantry here as well. Alright, let's just put some pressure on. And you know what? I actually want to. Let's threaten this a bit more. So I've got this infantry here. I will put them in the open, but I want to divert some of this uh, musket fire and, and just make the AI a little bit more nervous. Of 
person has excellent reload time, it's good cover, so low morale though, so I can see them pulling back, but hopefully they can do something with cut. Alright, second division, excellent, this is exactly what I need, because I need to engage these guys, and... Alright, so you know what, you guys all just hold, you need to hold this line in solid cover, and... Weather the storm. Actually, pause for a second because um, there's just a lot of units that showed up at the same time. So let's let's manage them. So second core uh, leader Ewell is finally here. Fantastic. So I need him here. I need him to be um, supporting this battle line because I've got units that are routing and pulling back. Yeah, uh, Everson's already broken. So so this line's not going not going to hold. Uh, sharpshooters. Uh, okay. So sharpshooters. Let's get them here they're fast and I just want them to get them on the flanks and, um, and kind of annoying the enemy seeing what's out here and these guys yeah I think I just want to go come straight down this field and, and create a another line here and basically see if I can uh, somehow buckle the uh, the Union side so you guys come in in full strength and wouldn't normally do this, but I think I am going to actually, what, what condition, I don't know what condition they're coming in. Okay, these guys are good condition. Solid, 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 solid. So you know what, all of you need to run. battery so let's just get them on the ridge yeah let's uh let's do some damage here with this attack i just want to wait again for more of my forces to show up before i can do that again a unified push on the whole line and i mean this massive massive force is going to be so difficult to get out of there and especially with charges now being kind of difficult to pull off um oh good okay yeah so so hills here or it's our ewells here all right now i can now that we're nearing the enemy let's take the run off because i always forget and then my guys get tired and then the whole thing falls apart so Brigade double double this division has been spotted. Okay, so yeah, so we know that that's oops, no run. That's not good. Uh, so that's what the sharpshooters can hopefully help me kind of spot and annoy. Now the hill seems, you know, can I can I make it to the hill? That'll be quite the coup if I can get up on the hill before he the AI knows what's going on. All right, my batteries are almost in place. Uh, lanes here, so. Let's do a push. Davis is now good. Let's go. Look at all those blue jackets, that is, that is insane. Okay, perfect, more artillery. Okay, let's just pause for a second again because I've got a lot of planning. So all of this needs to just start blasting. Let's just get them up close and that might be too close, but yeah, maybe we put them here, but I really, really, really need some support and yeah, the sharpshooters are just 
I don't know what, they're not being fired on. That's weird. All right, let's just pull them in here. this attack with just guys coming in behind, get some guns on the hill, and oops, here, it's fine, right here, can we, as soon as these guys deploy, see if we can charge and break, is this going to be a little crazy? Maybe. I don't know. No, their 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 morale is high, but hoping for that shock break uh, value, but I, I don't know if that'll happen. Alright, so Alright, let's put pressure. These guys on the hill, this is excellent. Uh, Culp's hill was undefended, which is not really historical, but I guess we can imagine that, that only a couple regiments were, he were left here, so let's make sure that he Smith holds and just freaking dig his digs in. Sharpshooters are going to be going back and forth, that's fine, I just need them to be kind of fighting some, some fire. Oh my god, these guys are getting chewed up. and I think I can dislodge him from from this bridge as well, this hill, so this way I can have the entire uh, bridge and just kind of pincer the enemy. Any more troops? Oh, yeah, one more gun. Nice. Yeah, I know these attacks are just not going well. Where's my commander? Uh, let's get him up here. Yeah, to be honest, uh, at this point, I don't know exactly how to handle this kind of just mass, mass, mass army because they have—they're in the open, but they have so much firepower. I can't really break through. I uh, can't really charge them. And okay, the Louisiana Tigers. Yeah, let's just get them back and recovering. I guess it's just just the artillery fire, you know, just. Um, Getting more shots at the enemy. Yeah, but yeah, no charging. This was not, not a good idea. You can turn around and then just hold. And, and I mean, if this like. What is it? One, two, three, four brigades decides to take the hill. That hill's there is bought. That's f fine because I'm hoping that yeah, Avery's broken too. It feels like I'm, uh, I'm trying to pen in a tiger, like the. He has so much punching power here that I'm surrounding, but right, just let's see if we can actually dislodge them.
Yeah, there with the AI starting to notice that uh, the hills, Culp's hill is not his, but. Um, Good. So what I'm trying to do is set up uh, this full pocket here, so commander supports, back in row is now recovered a little bit, so you go in support. You also go in support, alright. Smith going to break? Yeah, Smith just broke. Which is fair enough, because, you know, he was being just hammered by this massive force. So I will have to probably give up this, uh, this, this victory point. Yeah, this did not go very well for me at all. Um, okay, I'm trying to do a massive charge. So we can push the enemy back there. Get the sharpshooters. Do anything here? No, because Ames is, is trying to move into this point, which is off, you know, obviously that's what he tried to do. So I'm not surprised. So I need to just yeah fall back, I see. It was a bit of a gamey trick because you know obviously the I just kind of gave up this uh, this, big, no, this big victory point and uh, just let me take it, which it, yeah no human player would do this, so so that's fine. Oh dolls. But I'm not really making progress towards these uh, this big victory point either. Uh, I took the minor one. I have the ridge now, and so this is forming up to be a bit more historical again. So my initial gains from the first day have been kind of stopped because uh, I was not able to crush this unit army. But that's because it's now in a nice, very defensible position. So basically, at, at, you know, at later part of day one, we had a kind of a replay of what happened in day two to some degree. Um, so, oh, crushing defeat. Wow, okay, so <laughs> that's, uh, that is, that is unfortunate, but I guess that's how it goes. I uh, did not play that well. Um, all right, so let's take a look. Um, objective wise, yeah, I took just the the two ridges, but none of the hills, so that that's terrible and um, and I lost a lot of men doing it as well, so it's a lot of losses with little to show for it. Okay, um, great. Okay, so we're going to see if we can make this up in the next game, but I uh, hope you enjoyed this, and see you on um, in part three.